Nagas, the snake people, source of a lot of mysteries and misconceptions. They have captivated our imagination generations after generation. Welcome to Sepia Diaries. Today we are going to explore the mysterious beings known as Nagas, deeply rooted in rich Indian history, literature and mythology. So without further ado, let's dive in. Nagas, often depicted as serpents with human features. In Hindu mythology, Nagas are regarded as powerful, semi-divine beings, demigods you can say. According to Mahabharat, they have descended from sage Kashyapa and his wife Kadru, who was one of Daksha's daughters. Not only Hindu mythology, but many other ancient traditions around the world recognize the importance of serpents in the spiritual context. If we look at ancient literature, then we'll find that they have influenced several important events in mytho-historical stories. For example, in the biblical story of Adam and Eve, a snake insists Eve to commit the original sin. This snake, according to many scholars, represents our desires that lead us to impulsive actions. You can find a seven-headed snake statue in Angkor Wat. Ancient Mayans believed that snakes were the vehicles that carry gigantic celestial bodies such as the sun through space or heaven. A very interesting thing about serpents is that they often appear with multiple hoots in stories from completely different cultures. In Hindu mythology, we often find snakes with seven hoots, five hoots, etc. But in real life, can we find such snakes? No. Actually, these numbers represent cosmic principles. It is believed that Nagas possess exceptional spiritual knowledge. In Hindu tradition, they are connected to spiritual practices like yoga and tantra that can lead people to liberation and enlightenment. The multiple hoods symbolize this wide spiritual knowledge. Serpents in many cultures are regarded as the guardians of the underworld and masters of strange powers. In Greek mythology, Medusa is described as a powerful being with an appearance like a beautiful female human who has venomous living snakes as her hair. Whoever looked into her eyes turned into stones. Ancient Mesopotamians linked snakes to eternity and immortality as they believed snakes could live forever by shedding off their skins an endless number of times. According to Norse mythology, Yurmungandr, the Midgard serpent, remains coiled around the earth and its eternal enemy is their thunder god Thor. When it comes to Hinduism, serpents are considered exceptionally powerful beings, but not always evil. They have the potential to do both good and bad, depending on the situation. Snakes kind of demonstrate duality. On one hand, they are vengeful. On the other hand, they represent fertility, protective spirit and rebirth. We see powerful serpent characters in Mahabharat such as Takshak and Kaliya who influence the events negatively. Shesha and Vasuki on the other hand are divine serpents. The Vishnu Puran tells us the story of Samudra Manthan. Serpent King Vasuki plays a pivotal role in this event. A very interesting fact about serpents in Hindu traditions is their nature of being attached to very powerful beings. The seven-headed snake that Lord Narayan reclines on is the cosmic snake known as Shesha, Ananta Shesha or Sheshnag. One that adorns Mahadev snake is the serpent king Vasuki. The goddess in her different forms also appears with snakes. In Kundalini Yoga, the goddess of Shakti or energy is represented as a coiled snake. Legends have always associated them with dampish places such as dungeons, in and around water bodies, etc. It is believed that they are the guardians of the underground realm or the Patal Lok. Aztec mythology, for example, believes that the protector of the underworld is a python tree, a gigantic alligator, and a snake. In Mahabharat, Panduputra Bhim reached Naglok by falling into a deep water body. Arjuna's wife Ulupi was a Naga princess. 
her father was Naga King Kauravya, who ruled over the underwater Naga Kingdom in the Ganga River. In Hindu and Buddhist traditions, we find a subterranean place called Bhogavati, which was the capital of Nagas, so their abode is always below the ground level. Most probably, their habit of living in holes on the ground gave birth to such ideas. Now the question is, was there any such place like Nagalok in reality, where the Nagas lived? According to Dr. R. K. Sharma, Nagas were a non-Aryan tribe, a group of snake worshippers. The practice of snake worship can be traced back to the Indus Valley civilization. Another popular belief is that Nagas in ancient India were a tribe that originated in Sri Lanka and they were spread across southern India. The Nagapushani Amman temple, which is one of the Shakti Peethas dedicated to Parvati or Bhuvaneshwari, is located amidst the Pok Strait on the island of Nainativu, Sri Lanka. The Jaffna Peninsula in the northern province of Sri Lanka was known as Nagadipa or Nakadiva in ancient times. Whatever we believe about Nagas are influenced by our perception of snakes to some extent. How do humans perceive snakes in general? Slimy, proud, life-threatening? Snakes are treated differently in mythology and religions for different sort of reasons. First of all, they appear very different from all other creatures. They move swiftly without having any limbs. They are agile, difficult to detect and dangerous too. Added to that, they symbolize transformation and reincarnation as they shade off their skin. All of these factors have facilitated a feeling of fear and respect towards them. If we speak scientifically, then according to a recent study, snakes generate both fear and disgust in us. Both fear and disgust are considered as very basic fundamental emotions. The purpose of these emotions is to stimulate a person to respond promptly against a life-threatening danger. So our emotions have marked snakes as very dangerous creatures. We don't even need to think about it. Then where do the positive emotions come from? Actually, snakes are very beautiful creatures too. Their attractive appearance relates to positive aesthetic emotions. So snakes with their charming and fearsome persona generate mixed feelings within us, which probably is the source of respect and fear at the same time. Generations after generations, snakes with their charm and mystery around their persona have influenced us and earned a distinctive place in our collective beliefs. Hope I have clarified at least some confusions about Nagas. If yes, then please support this channel by hitting the like button, leaving a comment and last but not the least by subscribing to this channel. Thank you. See you soon.